Driving a bicycle turns from everyday thing to something more magical if your goal is to get lost. I started this habit when I was a kid. I used to cycle a couple of miles away from home to a known suburbius. The challenge was to find the way back home. Now it's not that often a conscious decision. I indeed try to go somewhere and my intention is not to go down the wrong way. Just like here in Cambodia, I was looking for the Angkor temples. Instead I turned down a wrong road and ended up here in the middle of nowhere. Still, how exciting it was to see these places I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Many times the best things in life happen just like this. Now let's get lost in Finland. Just like in Cambodia we'll go in the middle of nowhere. About 30 kilometers from Suomussalmi along the highway 5 we meet the quiet people. In 1988, the town of Suomussalmi organized a cultural festivity. Local dancer Reijo Kela also participated in the festivity with his own dance presentation. He originally intended to use the local unemployed on the background. None of them showed up, even though he agreed to pay them. He had to think it all over again and eventually he came up with an idea. Resulting scarecrow figures were so impressive that astounded passers-by stopped their cars. The artist himself intended to leave people to rot on a field, but townspeople of Somos Salmi chose otherwise. Even today, the local youth workshop clothes and repairs the installation twice a year. It's now one of the best known attractions in Suomus Salmi. There is a hot cafe next to the installation, which is open during the short Finnish summer. The installation itself is open all the time, and you can walk free among the people as much as you like which is a pretty nice experience, especially during a summer afternoon. You're not only allowed to walk, but you can take a shirt for a souvenir if you leave a cloth in return. This may explain why there are some interesting shirts around here. Looks like this one got here all the way from Lebanon. Usually people aren't this quiet, especially not about contemporary art, to which is often bashed. On those talks it's just poo in a microwave and that sort of things. I'm not saying there isn't any dog poop somewhere around here, but still I cannot smell here much of elitism. We're not in a museum and this is all free. Sure, this is indeed in the middle of nowhere and no one probably travels here just to see this. But that takes us back to the idea of getting lost. Perhaps that's one reason why people like this piece of art. Just like I turned down the wrong road in Cambodia, people come here by coincidence. Perhaps the way we find these things affects the way we receive them.